there is nothing like freshly made white clouds of fluffy ricotta cheese. And it's so easy to make. And Lexi and I are going to show you how. We're going to start with two half gallons of whole milk. And I like to use organic milk for this. And then Lexi's going to add two cups of cream. Ooh. You will never buy supermarket ricotta again once you taste this cheese. So we're going to stir it. Can I try? We're going to put this mixture of milk and cream on the stove and heat it to 185 degrees. And once the milk has come to temperature, we're going to add some vinegar and some salt. The vinegar is going to make the curds and the salt is going to give the finished cheese some flavor. Okay, the milk has reached 185 degrees, so we're ready to add the vinegar now and make our curds. So you remove the milk from the heat. And Lexi, you're gonna add the vinegar and we're gonna watch the curds form. There we go, now look, look, look. Here they come. See them coming? Now pour, put in a teaspoon of salt, that one, this one right here. The reason we only add one teaspoon of salt to the ricotta is because this cheese can be used for desserts or for savory things like ricotta filled ravioli or quiches and other desserts like ricotta cheesecake, sweet ricotta pie, and cannolis. Now we're going to cover the ricotta with a clean dishcloth and we're gonna let it take a nap for a couple of hours so that the, the curds settle and the whey cools. So this cheese has now rested for a couple of hours. It's nice and cool. We're gonna take the lid off and we're gonna see what we have. Ooh, we have lots of beautiful curds. And now we're going to spoon the curds with this flat spoon. And we're gonna put this in this cheesecloth lined colander and it's gonna drain for about 30 minutes. I'm now going to lift it up, the cheesecloth, by the corners. I'm going to gather up the edges. And I'm just going to force out the last bit of moisture. And this is just whey that's coming out. But if you like your cheese a little wetter, you can leave some moisture in. If you like it really dry, you can let it hang even longer. Here we have this nice beautiful ricotta cheese better than anything you'll ever get at the store fresh cheese Lexi yum <laughs>